Alright guys, so you guys loved part one, you loved what I was doing with my whole reconstructing my room and redoing my gaming setup. So here's part two where I'm going to be cleaning up the desktop now, uh, hooking up my PC, hooking up my new double monitor mount that I have, and pretty much just you know making my PC gaming area uh, back to life. So that's going to be part two. Uh, part three is going to be going to take a while to do, not, not too long, but part three is going to be pretty much my entire new room tour in a way, where everything's, you know, clean, put together, and all nice and neat like it used to be. So that's going to be part three. Again, hit that thumbs up button a thousand times if you want to see that, but uh, that's going to take some time because I still got to, you know, clean everything up, so I got a mess going on, but we're going to start putting everything together right now. I'm really pumped for that, but first, I have to make a very, very important run. So, did you ever hear a song? That just immediately brings you back to like a long time ago. And it just played a song from Disturbed. That immediately brought me back to like 7th, 8th grade. Which is like almost 10 years ago. Damn. So you guys hit that like button a thousand times pretty damn quickly. Uh, so to, in order to jumpstart my day, I gotta run to Dunkin' and get some iced coffee to wake my ass up to make this video for you guys. All right, can I have a large butter pecan iced coffee with uh, whipped cream, please? It's all good. Got my fix for the day. This stuff is like crack. Oh my god. First step, I am taking the monitors off of this uh, arm mount because the base is massive and it is very heavy and it's time for this thing to go because it just takes up way too much space on any desk. So I'm reading some of the comments from the first video, and to anyone who is offended for my split second middle finger during the time lapse, relax. Everyone's like, really? The middle finger? Relax, it was a joke. It was literally for a split second during a time lapse. It wasn't to you, it's just a joke. All right, running into some issues here. This monitor does not want to stay in the upright orientation. As you can see, it keeps just slowly going down and it's all the way tightened hmm all right so I figured it out uh, what I had to do was use one of the Allen keys uh, turn it so that it loosens the weight I guess because then I was able to uh, to move this more to tighten it and now it seems to be doing okay but the directions here are extremely uh, not vague, but these pictures don't make any sense at all with what you're supposed to do and what that says. But we're doing good so far. Alright, so we got it all put together now. The monitors are up and aligned. And if you kind of notice, I really don't, I've done this in the past too. I have them on a slight angle like this. I don't like when they are straight aligned like that because I use this as my primary gaming monitor, like my primary usage monitor. This is more like the secondary one where when I'm gaming I'll have like Twitch and OBS up to monitor chat. So I kind of like just having this like focused on the side so I can quickly turn, it's just right there. I don't know, it's kind of a personal preference for me. I've never really liked them straight on. So this is how it's gonna be for now. Um, I might have to adjust it in the future because it's like right next to my PC case. And it is a little too high for me. I mean, it's aligned perfectly with my eyes right now, but um, I'm not sure. And I should, probably should have mentioned this to you guys earlier. I'm getting a third monitor soon. So I'm gonna be doing more adjustments in the future. But for right now, this is how it's gonna be. This is up, we gotta finish working on the entire desktop.
extortion, robberies, agony. All right, so this video is a little bit longer than I thought it would, but I finally got it all set up. Um, I gave you guys a pretty good look at it in the montage. And this is how it's going to be for now. But uh, just a quick few future notes and investments I'll talk to you guys about. Um, I think I mentioned in an earlier video, but this is my gaming PC now. And very, very soon, we're going to be doing a completely new PC build guide that's fully sponsored. So we're going to be majorly upgrading this thing, and it's going to look awesome. So I really want this to be on display, which is one of the reasons why I want to change the monitor mount so it's not right in front of the PC. And uh, I, I don't know, I just like my monitors a little bit lower. As you can see, it's kind of high. There's about maybe two feet of clearance here. I want it to be a little bit lower, uh, but that's just personal preference. Another thing I want to look at, well, I'm pretty sure I have a Loctec double monitor mount that I reviewed a few months ago up in my attic. So I'll break that out and replace this eventually. Not, It's not a dire situation, but I do want to do that very soon. And uh, I want to drill a hole right here so I can, you know, put my, uh, my mouse and keyboard in that hole, wire it through the bottom, and pretty much the entire PC will have no, the, the entire desktop will be essentially looking wireless so it's gonna make it look a lot nicer and cleaner I just want to make sure I can do that and not completely bust the desktop up because it's a really nice desk and I wouldn't want it to really mess it up at all so I'm gonna look into doing that and if you want to look underneath the desk uh, everything is pretty well uh, managed not a lot of cables anywhere thanks to that gutter they're all hidden up in there I had the extension cord up in there with everything connected uh, so yeah, pretty good with cable management. I do have my uh, my DAC mounted underneath the desk so I can have like my my, uh, my headphones plugged in and adjust the volume on the fly. And yes, as you noted, or as you saw in the montage as well, that uh, the desk moves up and down. It's a really, really awesome feature. I will be having a build guide on this desk as well as a review on this desk very, very shortly. But that's one of the main reasons why I got this, because it's huge, it's great for product reviews, because it's nice, white, and clean, and it can go up and down at a touch of a button. It's a really awesome desk. But guys, this is my second episode of building the desktop. Like I said, the next one after a thousand likes will be my room completely cleaned up and put away, because I still have junk everywhere that I have to uh, find a home for, including like those eight damn headphones. So that's going to be coming very soon after a thousand likes and once I actually have time to do it. But this is my second video. I hope you guys like the new desktop and stay tuned. We've got a lot of really cool stuff coming. So I'll see you guys next time.